All right. Let's do another quick one. All right. Do we need to know? What do we need to know? For whoever needs to know it, whoever needs to hear it, what's the message? Passion. The soul. Okay. What makes you, uh, it gives you all these emotions, right? That's passion, okay? And then we got South Adventure. Mama. Okay, they gave me two. All right, we got Earth again, and we got Rain. All right. Bottom of the deck is fire. All right, let's uh, whip out the old book here and see. Let's see, the soul, number 14. I'm just going to try to be quick about this. It says, the soul, what is the spark that lights you up? The divine lives within you. Consider your motivations carefully. Know where you know where your resistance lies we all have more than one purpose in life and having a passion makes us feel more alive i just posted um the video that's uploading now talks about that okay creating um you know doing what we what we love that comes from the heart like um passionately you know it's like when you love what you do you never work a day in your life um, and your purpose doesn't have to be what you do for work, okay? It can be something you do on the side or for fun um, or alone even. Like, well, usually that purpose is something we do that helps other people, right? But if we're doing something that makes us happy, I feel like that makes, that benefits other people, right? Because we're not walking around here miserable and, um, you know, angry at the world because we're doing stuff that makes us happy inside, right? Uh, let's see, South, it says, adventure, take a risk, but an educated one. Do not see something you haven't done before. Um, oh, do or see something you haven't done before, or um, as experiencing something new will help you clear your mind and give you uh, and give wonder to your heart. Look carefully at your plan. Something may be amiss. The situation may have a happy medium. It is not all or nothing. All right, and then Earth, I just read this one. Oh, let me read it real quick. This one says, uh, take time to ground yourself. The Earth is our home, and we are a part of nature, not apart from it. Do all you can to take positive custodianship of the world around you. Pay attention to your body and your home. Turn your eyes toward home. Avoid disconnection with devices and extreme busyness. And they spelled busyness wrong. No, that's right. Wow, that looks weird. Because if it were the other way around, it would just be business. All right. It just looked weird. It's spelled with a Y. It says, we are creatures of the earth and are all connected on the planet. The earth, although made up of different home, um, biomes, is all one planet. Earth energy is establishing growth, inducing generous, cyclic, and deeply reciprocal. All right, um, rain here, number 35. I'll read these real quick. Uh, it says, um, fecundity, fecundity. Never even heard of that word. It says fruitfulness. Uh, the conditions of, of greater prosperity, prosperity are being met. The conditions of greater prosperity are being met. Know that all will be well. Cleanse yourself of old, outdated views. You have everything you need to grow. Let yourself be cleansed. And that's what I'm seeing here. Even like with the tears, like cleansing is very cleansing. Water is cleansing. Like um, this, this person is in the earth, but uh, it looks like there's, like, water surrounding her. You know, the ocean is part of the earth. I feel like she's standing at, like, the earth. Um, okay, and then we got fire, ignition, ignite. Number eight. 
So Leo energy, all right? It says, live your passion. Allow your spirit to drive you forward. Don't overthink the situation. Now is the time to innovate and take action. Be a lighthouse for others to find yourself a mentor, okay? We all need mentors. Um, people we look up to, people we um, get um, knowledge from or knowledge from or... Um, You can find that online. It doesn't have to be, like, personal, but it does help if it's personal. All right, let's pull on these energies here. Passion. We got change. Number seven, or number 25. So... This is the soul, and then Uranus, change, so, um, and then partnership, so you could be getting changes, um, switching up your, the people in your life, like your partnerships, um, uh, that felt right on top of adventure, so, there's two parrots here, um, it says clar clarify, solar calm on, on the earth card, all right, at home, um, could have to do with, like, keeping the earth clean, or, uh, I'm just picking this up intuitively off of it, um, clarify, uh, this could also have to do with your home, like, where you live, it's like, home is where the heart is, um, like, I can make any, you know, it's about making your house a home, right? Making it comfortable. Um, it's important. Virgo, digest, Capricorn, achieve, and review retrograde. All right? It's like, um... So you might be looking for clarity on certain relationships in your life, like where you stand with certain people, or um, you could be like looking at ways you can um, kind of try to make things better, bring change to certain partnerships, um, but like clarity is, is needed, right? Honesty. Um, something might be hard to digest, but you're going to be able to, like, get through it, right? You might be, like, reviewing things that happened or, like, certain conversations or whatever this is. I don't know. It's going to be different for everybody. All right. Um, let's see. This is just what I'm picking up from the cards, just looking at them without opening the book for this. I don't really want to get, get that deep into it. But, um, you know... Spirit will, spirit will kind of tell me what I need to know off of it. Something's going to bring an open door to, to value, okay, to money. Uh, new opportunities is what I'm picking up. Or, like, somebody's, um, this could be something, uh, and then we got the goddess of the moon, okay. You could be thinking of ways to um, bring in more money for yourself and your family. Um, you could want to work with the moon cycles. This is about like manifesting with the moon cycles, all right? Starting something new on a new moon and like, you know, uh, sometimes we do this and without even like knowing it. It's like sub uh, we do it unconsciously. All right, uh, but you could be trying to come up with something that's going to help bring open uh, new opportunities or new doors to money, but the door is open here, okay, so you could be doing something um, when it comes to using your mind or your logic, right? Um, yeah, this is like about creating something, but something you're doing is causing a storm or it's bringing this storm in, a storm warning, all right? Uh, so someone is concerned about their path, whether this is you, you could be on your path, this has somebody else worried, or you're worried about this storm warning, or like a possible 
eruption is what I'm hearing. This could have to do with a contract, um, whether it's business or marriage, or it could be a spiritual contract. Okay, but this this is like weighing of the scales, okay? Picking up on Libra energy. Um, so, but, 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 but. Someone could be anxious about this. Um, and then we got a, wa um, a water sign, an earth sign, feminine and masculine, whether this is you or there's two other people here you're dealing with. Uh, there's a queen of cups and a king of pentacles. Okay, so this could be a marriage between two people here. All right. Someone's anxious. These people are anxious. Or someone's in their head about this, about this empress energy. Okay, someone's... In, someone's thinking about giving money to this empress energy but this is causing a storm warning on on um because of someone's someone's path they're they're meant to be on this path someone's anxious in this energy here okay about a marriage or a contract this could be a business contract because the king of pentacles is here but this is going to be something that's going to make you very happy and it's going to bring some money into your pocket okay this could be a lawyer also that could be this thinking woman okay it's an air sign this is going to lead to your ten of pentacles cornucopia i'm seeing 11 44 also okay oh and it's 1124 on this timer right here yeah someone's getting ready to take action this is um being patient someone's being patient um someone's taking action towards this earth angel energy this is your um this could be your counterpart or um this is something that's going to um, be a balance a perfect balance um yeah and blossoming abundance it's going to bring more abundance into your life because it's perfect balance okay but someone's feeling stuck right now why is that here? why is that here Okay, someone feels like they can't leave the gate, but they see clearly that um, this is going to lead to their happy family or like a happy family life. All right. This is crown. This could be a bringing a child into the world. I'm picking that up because we get the happy family and this is your sexual energy. Your um, sacral chakra is where our womb is. Our womb. All right. So people are, you're, you could be resting or someone's resting. Someone is also um, being deceitful in this energy here. They could be deceitful. They could be, um, your creativity pisses them off. I don't know why. And your throat chakra is activated at this time. So um, communication and you are protected. Archangel Michael is here. Also Archangel Raphael. I'm sorry, that's Gabriel. And Metatron. Metatron. Okay, so something about your throat chakra, um, you speak with intent, your intention um, gets magnified throughout the, the universe, it, it leaves quite the mark, okay, I've seen it first, I've seen what my words do, <laughs> when I speak something, I can see the outcome, like I, I notice the energy changes, that's why it's important to be careful what we say and, like, put out into the universe, even when we're by ourselves, sitting in a room, okay? 144, I just saw. 1344 is 144 um, uh, military time. We get the angel of love, okay? So bring love into the situation always. I don't care if you're around people that, like, just just don't be a, don't be a dick. That's it. It's that simple. Uh, if you don't have something nice to say about someone, don't don't say anything at all. If you can't help someone, don't hurt them. Like all those stuff, it, all those sayings are there. They mean they're mean they're meaningful. Yeah, and we got the thinking man out here. So someone it could be an air sign here who's heartbroken, or someone broke your heart. But the angel of love is here. Uh, this person looks like they want to propose. I'm picking up from this. I don't know why or propose something. Doesn't have to be what marriage, but um, this is this is like um healing a broken heart here. The community or people in the community or this is a family group, a friends group, a work coworkers. They're trying to come up with the strategy. Um, when it comes to your crown chakra and your heart chakra, this is could this could be something you're aware of.
They could be attacking. Yeah, they, they, these bitches are out here attacking your crown chakra and your heart chakra. For money. They're doing this for money. They're getting paid to do this because they're, they're envious. I can't make this up. They're envious of your journey and your strength. And they see you're having a victory here. Keep drinking that Kool-Aid. They're mad at your confidence and your connection with spirit. And your manifestation skills. And how much God loves you. They're mad about this. So you have different opportunities. There's a, there's a, a king of cups out here. Or this is just you um, in touch with your emotions. Or um, you have different different possibilities. Okay, someone's feeling all tied up. This could be this King of Cups energy. Or you feel, like, restricted. This could be, like, being restricted from traveling. All right? Like, you want you want to, you want to go, right? There's an attach. There's some sort of attachment here. You could feel codependent on something and you're having a hard time walking away. But I feel like this is going to break. Uh, yeah, you're healing this. Uh, and you're finding your happiness, healing your inner child. You could be healing others, too. Yeah, the door to healing. You're a healer. People are mad at this. And, which I feel like you feel indecisive about what you're doing. But it's like... Um, you have the divine's blessings to be doing what you're doing. Um, we got this here. Door to romance and caring connection. Okay. It's just coming out of this energy here. All right. Why is that? Financial constraints. Right. That was the last card out. But it's number 13. So I feel like that's coming to an end. That's putting an end to it. Like number 13. They're pointing that out to me. Because that was the last card. It says detach from the situation. And keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Okay. So a certain situation you need to detach from. These people out here doing magic on your crown chakra. Your heart chakra. Or someone you're dealing with. They're doing it to them. This could be your counterpart. Your caring connections. This doesn't have to be like a significant other but for some of you it is um all right uh, they try to make this person walk away from you or be indecisive about coming towards you um they might be using money to do this like um your money situation they might be saying that you're trying to use this person if that's how this person is going to feel then they need to stay away because that's so petty all right make a commitment because people will say and do petty things to make people feel a certain way about somebody um it's it's all smoke and mirrors make a commitment it says make a commitment to yourself um focus on yeah i was going to say focus on yourself um your health and um yeah somebody's innocence it says this could be about yeah yeah and it says admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly i don't know what the hell this is and why this came out this way but this is what they're showing me so um <clears throat> focus on your health at this time because you're innocent with whatever these people are doing to you. They, they shouldn't be doing it to somebody who hasn't bothered them or isn't bothering them. Like they're sending energy towards you. They're trying to make you um, forget things that happened or put place memories. And they're doing this with magic. Just know that um, it's it's not working, right? Yeah, you're walking away from these people. Um, you're walking away from these this the past here, okay? And this has somebody in their head, okay? And we got the Hierophant and the King of Wands. So you could have walked away from old investments here. Um, if somebody may want to reconcile with you. I feel like you're in your head about this or this person is. The Hierophant. This could be in regards to um, a spiritual teacher or some sort of teacher here. King of Wands. This could have um, be a fire sign. It's like you're moving into calmer waters. All right. Um... You could have been in your head about this or this person, about re reconciling with this person. Um, but you're moving into calmer waters, and someone's in this energy here. Like I don't, feel, I feel like you're not going to be in this energy anymore. You're very resilient. Okay, this could be your family or people and someone in your family. Um, they're um, beat up by their own magic. All right, because you're you're here. You are. All right, you're very resilient. This could be your energy, just like you still got, you're still willing to fight for your happiness and your new beginning. Like you're protecting it. 
yeah, your two of cups here. And that's the truth with the ace. You're getting clarity about people who stole from you and refuse to give back what's yours. There's going to be communication coming in or something's going to move very quickly here. Uh, or, or coming in quickly. King of Cups. Someone wants to apologize to you. Could be a King of Cups. They want to bring balance to the situation. But you might have your guard up with this person. Alright. The star is healing involved here. Okay. You could be a healer. Uh, you could have healed from the situation. And you are standing your ground. Okay. Yeah, you're dropping the burdens of this situation here. Or this leaves this person burdened. Uh, and you're grounded and you are very nurturing. I got the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress and celebration here. So something's going to be victorious here when it comes to your stability, your platform, or a house situation. Okay? Bottom of the deck is... <sighs> it's the five of wands. So these people are like... They're like competing with themselves they're fighting with themselves someone feels rejected all right um knight of wands so this is like um someone coming back around okay or someone taking action towards you to manifest um th this could be something you manifested this could be a new opportunity all right um or this is a child here something needs to be released though or someone's looking at something from a different perspective Let's see, yeah, there's a tower moment here, and um, people could be watching your social media, or um, someone's making plans to travel here, okay, or to close out the cycle. Could be planning a vacation, or wanting to plan a vacation, I think it's warranted, All right. yeah, to invest in yourself. Uh, you could be planting seeds for the future, like reaping what you've sown, right? Manifesting and the Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. This could be your energy. You're very passionate. But you, all right, and this was like the last reading I just did. Fire and um, and the Compassion card came out. So it's like um, when you create from your heart with passion, right? It's like um, it affects it, it affects how you shine, right? Yeah, this is about collaborating, High Priestess energy, okay? So people could be collaborating with a High Priestess to make you, like, blind to something or to not see something clearly about this conflict here with Cancer, about your car moving forward, okay? They want to play games. Keep playing games. Yep, they're going to be... They think they're celebrating or or whatever this is. Um, you're moving forward from this. You're, you could be moving into the celebrating energy here. Uh, and they are um, in regret or they're crying over spilled milk because you're happy or they've been exposed or this has been exposed, all this toxicity here, and you remain balanced or this is with Sagittarius or um, someone who stole from you or and lied on you, all right? I feel like you're healing from this and you call it judgment, okay? And this king, uh, <laughs> the emperor betrayed you or feels betrayed or someone was betrayed they were abusing their power and authority to do this i feel like you released this this could have been a choice they made or a choice you made to um to um focus on your anger and like heal your anger okay yeah you did this in secret maybe okay someone wants to come in and offer you this cup and they want to take a leap of faith with you this could be something you called in and this is your justice here okay this is about to die, so um, I'm going to leave this here, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day.